My Wesuma taught me that when making kimchi, instead of chopping with your knife, you use your hands to tear the cabbage heads to preserve the beautiful leaves on the inside. You salt each individual leaf instead of just sprinkling salt all over to make sure that the pitchu gets bendy. And you roll the cabbage leaves up into what looks like a beating heart because it promotes the best fermentation though. I like to think it's because there's a little kimchi inside the heart of every Korean. These days, kimchi is really popular, which makes me happy. But there's a part of me that worries, even gets a little angry when I see food bloggers and others who authoritatively say, let me teach you how to make kimchi, while never questioning whether there might be a reason not to hack away at the cabbage, whether it's really okay to suggest replacing gochukaru with paprika, whether it's just a bit too easy for them to sacrifice other people's stories because what do they have to lose and what do they have to gain by doing so? When I asked my aunt where she learned all these details about making kimchi, she told me, I learned by watching my mother. She died when I was only a teenager and I missed her so much. I would replay all the memories I had with her over and over so I could feel near to her. So many memories were of her teaching me to cook and now I carry them with me everywhere I go.